Hi beauties and curls, we are back with another video and we're gonna do this little vlog style because I don't wash my face in my room. So we are going to go to the bathroom and we're gonna try out this Bosha Charcoal Jelly Ball Cleanser. So yeah, let's try the Charcoal Jelly Ball Cleanser. Let's go. Okay, so it says, open box and remove plastic enclosed jelly ball and provided pack. Okay. Okay, so now that I have taken it off, there's a little sticker at the top, right here. I'm supposed to use the pick and puncture the ball. Oh, that was interesting. I broke the balloon, remove the top plastic lid and then discard balloon remnants from ball. Okay, so now, I have the ball like this, and now it's telling me, now it says to open it. This is so cool, just the process of this, you know? Okay. Am I supposed to do this on a wet face? To cleanse, remove jelly ball from plastic base and massage it directly over wet face in gentle motion, circular motions. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there and wet my face. Okay, so I punctured it. Let's see, I see it got like soapy really quick. Oh, well this fell off. Oh, it was like a, okay, so now, Was something getting on there? Yeah, something is getting on there. It feels good. <laughs> this is cool. By the way, I have normal to dry skin. Samantha Jane has oily skin, so I'm going to link her video down below for you oily gals that are on my channel. Gents, too. I mean, I feel like Asian skincare is so innovative anyway. I feel like you do get more of a lather this way. I just want to, I was curious because I think Tati has normal, um, Tati has combination oily skin and Samantha has oily skin. What would this be like for someone who's dry? And by the way, this has, it has 3.52 ounces of, I guess, product in here. So I'll be curious to see how long I can use this as well. Now, storing, it's going to be very interesting to me. I'm going to keep it in the jelly ball. I'm going to see what the storage says on this. Okay, so I'm going to put it back in the ball. I feel like I have enough product to, to use it. One thing I can say is most of the time with foamy cleansers, I can tell usually if it's going to dry my skin out. And this one is very thin. This is like a thin foam. Let me get my neck too. This would still be something good that you could use to massage and then go in with your like Clarisonic or if you have a spin brush or you have the Rayo Luna. This is something that you could still use. You just put the product on. Because it's innovative and it's great. But the biggest thing is does the product on the jelly ball really cleanse your skin and do what it's supposed to do. Like that's what you want. Pat dry and see how my face feels. I am doing some videos today, so this is prepping my skin perfectly. 
skin is not dry. It just feels like it's really, really clean. Of course, this is a first impression. I won't be able to tell. Skincare is kind of iffy because some things you can tell right away, some things you can't. Now, I can tell you that my face feels squeaky clean. That's my son. My skin feels squeaky clean and this is a charcoal so this is going to be like this is going going to like pull out impurities it's an active charcoal in this Bosha jelly ball cleanser i feel like it's doing a dual thing especially for normal to dry skin usually charcoal does dry out the skin so you have to be careful in conjunction of how you use it i do have some charcoal face mask but this is just like I feel like something that's going to keep the skin constantly clean. Okay, so this product does contain latex. So if you are allergic to latex, this is not a product that you want to put on your face because it will break you out. I've had people that I know that break out with latex. So it does contain latex and it does have that warning on the box, which is good. I think I'm going to keep the needle because I don't know. Um, you might want to, I wonder if I'm going to have to keep puncturing this. If you are not sure if you are allergic to latex, just go ahead and do a spot check. Now, let me tell you, this one of the ways that you can do a spot check is on your forearm right here. It is kind of like the same um, texture as the skin. So a lot of times if you want to do to see if you're allergic to something, I highly recommend you using your, not your forearm, but the inner part of your arm in order to test product if you are unsure but it does have that warning and it does say if you're not sure to please test it now this one is avoid your eyes so some people i mean you could go all over your face but i'm not one to like put it over my eyes because this is supposed to be a cleanser not a makeup eye makeup remover this is again a cleanser so you want to go in with the eye makeup remover or a um, to break up the makeup before you use something like this. Bosha does have an oil cleanser. So you want to go in with something like that before you go in with a product like this. I would use it then, but most of the time I would probably use a product like this at night just because I like to do my face treatments and everything at night. So it does say for this product to avoid sunlight. So you want to keep it in a dark place. Now it did not, the only thing is I'm going to check out the website on the box. It did not say about restoring this in here, but I would, it would only make sense for you to restore it in the, uh, in the container just because it's a weird cleanser product. I can't see how would you store this in your bathroom? Like, this is not the typical soap dish. Hold up, you guys. So I have to say this, that after a couple of days of using this product, it was just way too bulky to store. And then not being in sunlight, I just felt like it was going to dry out way too quick. So this is not going to work for me. Uh, Size. So, and it says avoid sunlight. So I'm thinking that it's supposed to stay in here for storage. And this is honestly $20. This is kind of like a spa type of product. I would also keep the needle just in case, you know, if you're not getting products, you might want to repuncture it. As a matter of fact, I think you're supposed to keep it in here. And I actually see the product in here. Like I see the, the liquid in the jelly ball. Like I don't know if you can see that moving when it moves. You can see the product. And the hole is up here. So I am going to keep it just in case I need to puncture it again. And I'm going to store it back in here. Now the cool thing is I can throw away the box. But I'm actually going to keep the box just because I think you should keep this if you're going to store it. But this is kind of like a treatment face product. Because it has that active charcoal, this is something that you want to use as a like treatment cleanser. I guess I hope that makes sense. Like if you're going to just like clean your face every day, it may not be something that you want to try, but I, I enjoyed it so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.